Officer Axe will be laid to rest tomorrow afternoon in St. Clair Shores. His funeral is scheduled for one o'clock at Assumption Greek Orthodox Church. The canine was killed in the line of duty when police were moving in on a man with a gun. The St. Clair Shores Police Department is lit up in blue to honor Axe and the community using blue bulbs in their porch lights to show support for their police department. Certainly nice to see that support tonight. And these canines, of course, such an important part of police departments trained to serve and protect. And tonight's 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner shows us how this partnership is a special bond that keeps all of us safe. Michigan State Police Canine Unit, come to the sound of my voice. Release a police dog. You're going to be found. You could get bit. It's your last warning. Police dogs work by playing a simple game, hide and seek. In this case, Jax is looking for me. I could be a killer on the run and hiding out. He finds me by scent. Okay, Make yourself okay. known. Make nope. yourself known. Come on out. Atta boy, Jax. Good boy. That is not a good feeling knowing you're coming. Here's another scenario, finding a knife, a murder weapon, dumped in a field. I always say if we don't find it, it was never there. He left it out in the chilly, damp elements for some time to eliminate much of the scene and scent and make this search realistic. Jax and his handler have been good a team boy. for five years. Good find. That a boy. He's part of the family. Good. It's like a, it's almost like my son to watch him grow up because um, everything he's learned was from me. Um, all the jobs that I asked him to do was I had to teach him. Uh, my trainers at the state police trained me to train him. Jax can do tracking, building searches, narcotics with the odds stacked against them. Jax searched this storage unit and found hidden inside a pound and a half of heroin and $400,000 in cash. Two people are charged in the case in Saginaw County. Bundles of U.S. currency. Some was in a plastic baggie and I believe others was wrapped in cellophane. Four years ago, this duo was sent up north to Tawas. The mission? Finding a needle in a haystack. Two-year-old Brooklyn Lily wandered off in the woods and had been missing almost 24 hours in November, cold, rainy weather. That was a life and death situation. It if was. If you hadn't found her, she was exposed to the elements. Correct. My canine jacks located a, uh, an odor. Jax did the impossible with several searchers on foot, on four-wheelers, and in a chopper. Could not do. Finding the toddler in the deep woods. She turned around and smiled at us. And what was that moment like for you? Unreal. Yeah, it was an emotional, can't believe it just happened. As a child, stand by for coordinates. Excellent to hear Canine Street Trooper. Best news we've had all day. Trooper McGurkin is the son of a cop and always knew he wanted a canine partner. Jax is his first. And get this, they may be a team only a couple more years. As long as he stays healthy, we demand a lot out of our dogs. They go through a lot of agility, jumping, running, inhaling foreign substances. In other words, Jax will get time for a retirement and a lot less stress. Let him be dogs at the end of, uh, end of work. In Flint, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.